Welcome to Genesis How To. This how to is for Genesis back office users for the new discounting concept in sales and distribution module released in Genesis version 11.17.0. This how to is divided in two parts. The first part contains the detailed new discounting concept functionality flow and the second part contains few scenarios. Let's start with a redesigned price list form. We first need to provide a name to the price list we are going to create. Suppose we are providing as discount 30%. Our next field is the price type. Here we need to define the price which will be taken into the calculation for deriving the transaction rate. Suppose we select WSP. Our next option is discount mode. Here we need to provide that the discount amount which will be calculated will be added or subtracted from the base item price. If markup is selected, it will be added to the base item price. If markdown is selected, it will be deducted from the base item price. Our next option is include VAT in discount calculation. If the discount amount needs to be inclusive of VAT amount according to the customer side's VAT region, we need to select the include VAT in discount calculation option. It is important to note here that if the discount mode is markup, the include VAT in discount calculation is disabled. That is you can't include VAT in discount if markup is selected. Our next option is discount basis but since include VAT and discount is disabled we are not able to select discount basis we first need to enable it. We select markdown and enable it. As we can see here now we have two options gross price and net price. If include VAT and discount is selected it is required to provide the price on which the VAT will be calculated to be added to the normal discount. Whether it will be calculated on the basic price which will flow from the item that is gross price or on the price which will be derived after deducting the normal discount that is net price. Let's see an example for proper understanding. Suppose items price is flowing as rupees 100 as per the price type. Discount percentage is 30%. VAT percentage is flowing as 4% as per the items tax group so the discount will be 30 percent of rupees 100 that is rupees 30. Gross price is actually the items price itself so it will be rupees 100. VAT amount if gross price is selected will be 3.85 since 4 percent VAT is inclusive in gross price. Actual discount will be discount plus VAT amount and it will be 30 plus 3.85 that is 33.85. Net price is items price minus discount that is gross price minus discount and will be 100 minus 30 that is rupees 70. VAT amount if net price is selected will be rupees 2.69 since 4% of VAT is inclusive in net price. Actual discount will be discount plus VAT amount calculated and it will be 30 plus 2.69 that is 32.69. Moving back to the price list here we can see discount percentage. Here we need to provide the base discount which will be applicable for all the items when this price list is used. We provide here 30. In the multiples of column and in the limit we can provide the parameters according to which the derived transaction rate can be rounded off. Since include VAT and discount is selected multiples of field is disabled as we are not allowed to provide multiples of in case include VAT and discount is selected. Although we can limit the rate to the nearest one by using upper lower round in such scenario. If include VAT and discount is not selected, the multiples of can be provided here and similarly the limit can be selected. To the base discount we can even provide 
exceptions or say assortments we can provide various item parameters combinations from division section department article name to category 1 to 6 let's suppose we select here a department trouser to which we are providing a date range of 10 11 12 to 10 12 12 for which the discount percentage will be 40 we can even see the items which lie under this item combination and will have the discounting factor as 40 for the date range provided we click on view items here we can see the items which is applicable for the discount factor 40 same assortment criteria can be provided date range wise for different discount factors let's suppose I am again selecting trouser for the date range 11 12 12 to 30 12 12 and the discount percentage will be 45 percent now we can even copy an assortment by selecting the assortment that is the yellow line and clicking on copy assortment the assortment will be copied and added to the last line to which we need to provide the date range for it to be applicable we provided 10 11 12 to 1st january 3rd 2013 and the discount factor as 50% it might happen that an item is fulfilling criteria for two or more assortments or two assortments are same with overlapping date range so in those cases the first discount factor will be taken into account as per the entry done in the price list Let's have a look at the customer master now for tagging of the price list and the VAT region for the sites. First we'll look how we can tag for the unmanaged sites. We select the customer here. In the site window we have already created an unmanaged site. Here you, as you can see VAT region and price list name fields have been added. We need to provide the VAT region here as we want to calculate the tax amount according to the site's VAT region. And if price list is having include VAT and discount checked, that means the VAT region selection is mandatory here. We select the VAT region here. In the price list name, we need to select the price list which we want to tag. we can even provide the price list in the organization site window as well here for the customer wise organization site wise and here for the customer wise organization site wise customer site wise we select here and also here click on ok also we are able to provide the price list customer wise in the sales tab as you can see here and we save it now for the managed sites let's see how we can tag the VAT region and the price list we go to the retail module and open retail management in the retail management we open the site master we have already created a managed site which we are now going to edit and tag the price list and the VAT region in the replenishment source tab as you can see a new column has been added called price list name here we can define the price list replenishment source wise we select the prices which we want to 
use in the group mapping section we can see a tags group column is there here we can define the tags group or say the VAT region in the side tab a new field has been added called price list here we can define the price list site wise in the customer master as well we can define the price list in the sales tab as in the case of unmanaged site now since you can define price list for a single customer or site in various places it might be a question in your mind that what will happen if the price list is defined in one or more places let's see how the price list will flow in the transaction forms for both managed and unmanaged sites for managed sites it will flow in the following hierarchy replenishment source wise defined in the site master if not provided then it will look for site wise defined in the site master if that is also not provided then it will look for customer wise defined in the customer master for unmanaged sites it will flow in the following hierarchy customer wise organization site wise customer site wise defined in the customer master if not provided then it will look for site wise defined in the customer master if that is also not provided then it will look for customer wise organization site wise defined in the customer masters organization site window if that is also not provided then it will look for customer wise defined in the customer master moving to the transaction forms let's recollect the transaction forms to which this new concept has been implemented the forms are sales order, delivery chalan ad hoc, delivery chalan against order, transfer in which we use to return from unmanaged consignment sites, sales return only in case of unmanaged outright sites and opening stock in inventory module. We will use sales order to show the flow in this part. Now we go to the sales order form. Here we need to provide the site name first. We select the site. As you can see, a message is showing up. Please select price list in the customer master to proceed. We have removed all the price list tagged everywhere in this customer and for the respective site as well. Since it is not finding any price list tagged to the customer or the site, it is not able to proceed with the transaction price list selection is mandatory in the transaction forms mentioned earlier now we go to the customer master and uh, tag the price list select the customer we are providing the price list as required it is important to note here that we are leaving VAT region blank. Click on OK and save it. Now we are going to the sales order again and trying to select the site again. As you can see, we are now able to select the site and proceed with the transaction and the respective price list team is flowing here. It is important to note here that even when the VAT region is blank in the customer master, we are able to proceed with this transaction. It is because we have not selected include VAT and discount in the price list. Now let's go to the price list and select it. We select the price list. Here we select include VAT and discount and save it again we are moving to the sales order and trying to select the site as you can see VAT region not defined for the selected site message is showing up this message is shown because VAT region is not defined we need to select it so that we can proceed now let's go to the customer master again and select the that region for that site
select the customer and we are moving to the site window here we are providing the VAT region we save it and exit moving back to the sales order form we are trying to select that site again as you can see we are now able to proceed one more thing which needs to be taken care is that the VAT region should have a VAT rate in all the tax groups on that entry date so let's clear the screen and try selecting a different site with different VAT region we select the Haryana site here as you can see uh, now the message is showing us VAT region is not defined for all the tax group we go to the tax group now in the inventory module we select the tax group here we define another tax group for the Haryana region and we save it moving back to the sales order form we again try to select that site now as you can see we are able to proceed with the site with a different VAT region as well after the site selection we can use different modes of selection of the items present in every form and the item rate will flow accordingly now let's have a look at the summary of the three checks in the transaction forms on the site selection the first is if price list is not tagged to any of the fields for the site or the customer as described in the hierarchy earlier it will not allow proceeding with the transaction if price list is found and include VAT and discount is not selected in the price list the user will be allowed to proceed with the transaction but if include VAT and discount is selected in that price list it will look for the VAT region for the site if VAT region is not found it will not allow proceeding after VAT region is found it will look for the VAT trade for that VAT region in all the tax groups for that entry date if not found it won't allow proceeding this was the whole functionality flow of the new discounting concept in the sales and distribution module now let's move to the second part which contains few scenarios